Tonight's Positively Richmond Biology brought to a canvas. We're getting a look at endangered and at-risk species in a way you likely have never seen them before. One Richmond artist is raising awareness for animals, plants, and insects, dolling them up on paper in hopes that they'll get more love in their natural habitats. 8 News producer Lindsay West has the story. I have pride in my state and I have pride in the beauty that's here and realizing we can start doing little things to positively affect the animals and if I can find a way to bring attention to that, this is my quirky way of doing it. My name is Cassandra Kim, I'm a local Richmond artist and this is my show at Glave Cos and Petit, highlighting local endangered species, animals, insects and plants. This is, this is a really fun show that was a brainchild of, and I talked to Anne and she was like, you should do some rare animals for awareness and I was like, what a logical point. And I'm chief biologist for the Virginia Natural Heritage Program and that what we do is understand what's rare in Virginia as far as plants and animals and communities and try to find out where they are and how they're doing. So there's endangered, which means it has a legal listing like in the Endangered Species Act and we have that at a federal level and a state level. But there's another whole list of species of animals and plants. It's much bigger. Uh, that we consider critically imperiled or imperiled uh, or vulnerable. I love to paint animals in different eras and like classic portrait style. I want them to be as rendered and as beautiful because I feel like it makes them even more ridiculous and welcoming and fun. Honestly, way more interested in painting animals than people. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just, I'm captivated by them. The big sandy crayfish was the first one. I thought if I could do a crayfish, and a jacket and figure out how it would wear it with the arms. <laughs> Holding flowers and a butterfly, I could take on any other species. <laughs> this is just a time lapse of painting it. So here I focus first on the anatomy of the crayfish and I want kind of the color to remind us that he belongs in the water. Once I have him hashed out, then I figure out how the coat goes on. How, how would you tailor the shoulder pads of the jacket? <laughs> These are my serious life questions with the career I've chosen. <laughs> Knowing what you have is the first step of being able to appreciate it and value it and know that it needs your help. I want people to remember that big change can start with small things. If we all just do a little thing to help, big things can happen if we all do it together. That so is so creative. Yeah, and that's such a poignant reminder about really how much we can all do together. Well, calendars are available featuring the paintings in this exhibit and a portion of the proceeds go towards the Department of Conservation's Natural Area Preservation Fund, helping biologists work with these rare species. You might not find them in a tailored coat, right? but hopefully we'll find them more often out in the wild. We'll be right back. <laughs>